for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, two years ago, the Conservatives decided to accelerate the approval of lease leases for exploration by BP and Imperial Oil in the Beaufort Sea. They did so without any overarching plan for the region, knowing very well that these leases encroached in fragile zones where cleaning would be impossible if there was ever a spill because of the icy water. Why is the Prime Minister knowingly endangering the fragile Canadian Arctic environment when we know that the risks there are enormous. The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources, Mr. Speaker, that's totally false. These allegations are false. The government has been clear from the start. We expect Canadian control authorities to apply solid environmental standards, including for uh, offshore drilling. We, they will not proceed in any way, shape, or form if we are not convinced of the security for the environment and the workers, period. Canadians expect nothing less. The Honourable Member for Ottawa South. The BP gave assurances that they could handle a disaster 30 times larger than the spill in the Gulf of Mexico. A virtually identical rig and drilling system is set to be used off the coast of Newfoundland. If a spill were to occur, it would take 11 days just to get a ship to the site. With no guarantees, a suitable rig could be found to drill a relief well. The government claims it has standards which are more stringent than in the United States. If that's the case, why is the only emergency preparedness plan in place provided by Chevron? Where is the government's plan? Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Well, Mr. Speaker, I heard a lot of if in that question. You know, Canadian regulations require operators to employ the best technology, equipment, and training techniques available, and we will not accept any weakening of those requirements, Mr. Speaker. And let, let me be clear, Mr. Speaker, no drilling will proceed unless we are convinced of the safety of the environment and the worker, period. And Canadians expect nothing less, Mr. Speaker. What up?